Ciao Luca is a really sweet sequel short, if you like, to Luca. This was released in 2021, of course, and it's directed and written by McKenna Harris. And there will be spoilers in this for what happens in Luca, because it is a follow-on. It's really interesting to have a sequel that's directly happening after a film. Usually sequels, certainly with Disney and Pixar, they're kind of add-ons. They don't really directly relate to the narrative of the film, but this one wouldn't make any sense if you haven't seen the film. So this will contain spoilers for the film Luca. If you haven't seen Luca, I thoroughly recommend it. It's a beautiful, creative, well-developed film that's really quite an absolute joy to watch. Um, and the same for Ciao Alberto. It may only be about eight minutes in length, but it's beautiful. But also, can we talk about the cat? The cat with the Hitler moustache and the Hitler parting. Um, it's definitely, if you Google Hitler, um, they're cats that look like Hitler. Um, it's actually like a whole thing. I'm not entirely sure I, I particularly like the design of, of the cat. It definitely looks like a dictator. I mean, I, I like it, but I don't think it's in fitting with the film. But maybe that's just me overthinking it. That's certainly something that I read into. The film focuses on Alberto, uh, who has, of course, as I said, spoilers, has been adopted by Massimo. And it's all about how he is adjusting to this new life, living with Asimo, uh, Massimo, trying to be his apprentice, um, basically trying to get on with Massimo and obviously being his son now, of course. And he's basically writing this letter to Luca to tell him all about this life and part of him wants to say that everything is amazing and life is perfect which is an understandable thing if you have a friend who goes away um, you don't kind of want them to know that they've left this empty space in your life you want to pretend that everything is amazing but at the same time life is reality and it rarely is amazing all the time so he kind of starts to be a bit more honest it may be writing these letters to Luca is the first time that Alberto really confronts his own feelings and really assesses where his life is at that moment and where areas may need to be worked on. And I think it's really sweet. Certainly it's something that people can relate to if a friend has moved away or something, um, which happens to you know a lot of people, unfortunately. But it's also a really nice message about how writing things down and thinking things through can really help you to process things and come to terms with things and identify areas where you may need to put more focus or areas that can be improved upon. And I think it's just a really sweet film that's a really nice little snapshot follow-on of what life after Luca is like, both in terms of the film and in terms of Luca himself. I think it's obviously well animated, the same quality as the film. Beautiful little narrative. Alberto, the character, is of course really likeable, so he's really easy to get on with. Alberto is, is voiced by Jack Dylan Grazer. I think it's beautiful. It's a really sweet short film, and sure, I'm not going to say it's quite as good as the whole film itself, but as a sequel short, it's pretty wonderful. Definitely worth watching.